What up, guys? That's me. Um, and I just kind of wanted to come on here and just like to you know not only vent but to talk about some stuff that I've really been trying to keep more or less under wraps. But this is something that I just I feel needs to be put out there. So, I legit just did one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. Which is to block my ex Abby, who I very much had feelings for. If you guys don't know, me and her were together last year. And... You know, we got split up because of her family. Well, she called me up today, just out of the blue entirely, just out of the blue on Facebook. She called me. She wanted to talk. And, you know, I didn't see any harm in it. At first, I thought she wanted to work things out and to be with me again. Well, I was wrong. She just wanted to be friends. She, she, I guess, is what this Mike guy or whoever. And, you know, she told me that, you know, she does still care, but she doesn't like me in that way anymore. And that she's happy with this Mike guy. And, you know, I kind of went on with that until we hung up. But I just told her, I was like, look, you know, I love and care about you more than you know, but I can't allow this to happen. Like, I can't be friends with you, especially with you, with me having those feelings for you. Like, it's too hard. And it's not that I hate her, because I can never hate her. She's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. But I just, I couldn't deal with it. it it's way too fucking hard to deal with. Or to deal with, I should say. My bad. It's like, how do you stay friends with somebody that you still have feelings for while they're with somebody else? Like, that kills you inside. Like, and to be honest, at first I didn't want to do it. I really didn't, but then I was like, you know, if I don't do it now, then the pain will just get worse and worse and worse, and I'll probably end up snapping and saying something I'll regret to her. So I took and, you know, I did it in a civil way. I told her, I was like, look, we can't be friends. And it's not because I hate you because I don't hate you, but it's because of the fact that you know, I have way too many feelings for you, and it hurts me to see you with this other guy. It hurts me way too much seeing that. And she was all like, well, you know, you'll find somebody else, and da da da, da and this and that. And it's like, yeah, you don't know the situation very well at this point. Like, you know... And I'll admit, being with her is all I've ever wanted. But with her being with him, I can't do it. It's too fucking hard. You know, like... You know, it's, it's way too hard to do. Like, how do you stay friends with somebody that you have feelings for while they're with somebody else? Like, how can you sit there and do that? Like, that's not fair to either side. Especially when you know that person has feelings for you. And yet you're with somebody else and you know they have feelings for you. And yet you have the same feelings for them and yet you choose to be with this other person. Like, it's it's ridiculous, man. It really isn't. What up, Chad? 
Well, like I said, I mean, it was a very hard thing for me to do. It really was, but I also know that if I didn't do it now, it would just get worse. You know, I know that if I didn't block her right now, you know, things would eventually get worse and spiral out of control again. And I couldn't allow that to happen, so I had to make the hardest choice possible and, you know, do what I did. Like, I had to do it. You know, as much as it hurts, I couldn't just sit there and watch her be with this other guy. Like, it, it hurt way too much. It hurt when, it hurt enough when she told me that she was with him, but to sit there and to actually, you know, want to be friends? No. Hey, not much, Chad. And what up, Pusheen? How you doing? But, like, you know, it just, it, like, it confuses me at how you could want somebody to be friends when you're with somebody else, knowing that that person has feelings for you and knowing that deep down you have feelings for them. Like, why ignore those feelings and be with that other person? Why not act on those feelings and be with the person that you know you truly care about? Like, it, it's stupid. So, you know, I did what I had to do, and I blocked her after I sent her a message. It wasn't a hateful message. It was just a message saying, hey, you know, like, you know, we can't be friends. Like, you know, I, I can't do it. It's too hard. Like, I straight out I was like, look, it's way too hard seeing you with this other guy. Like, it is way too hard for me to see that. And then, you know, unfortunately, I did what I had to do and I blocked her. And you guys know very well that when I was with Abby, man, I had everything on the right track. You know, I was super happy. If you guys can't tell by the pictures I posted of me and her when we were together, like, I honestly, I honestly, well, man, I felt like I was on top of the world. I really did. Like, I was, I was super happy. And, you know, and ever since, you know, I've been in and out of relationships, which hasn't really worked out. Like, you know, and the reason why they haven't worked out is because people just don't get my situation. And that I can't work due to the fact that, you know, not only obviously my record, but also because of the, the main fact, the big major factor is that, you know, I have to obviously, you know, stay here and with my mom at home and I'll take care of her because, you know, she can't do much since she got hit by a car, you know, last year and it's affected her very badly ever since. And stuff like, and people just, they just don't get it. So, I mean, you know, but honestly, guys, like, that's honestly the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life was to block the one person that, you know, that, like, I would do anything for, like, like, this is a girl who, if I could give her the world in the palm of my hand, I would do it without question. Like, if she were to jump off a bridge or off a cliff, I'd be right there beside her holding her hand and jumping. But um, if you guys don't remember, Abby did only have one arm. She did give me a little bit of good news that I am happy for her about, which is, um, if you guys don't remember, she went in to get her arm done, and I actually did out a 3D design for the doctors. They liked it, and believe it or not, they actually showed it to the right company. Um, and they actually approved for her new prosthetic arm that's fully functional 
And it's actually one of the very first of its kind that allows for feeling, full rotation, and she doesn't have to have that strap like she does with her regular one. It's actually, you're going to be attaching it to her nervous system and doing it that way, which I don't see how that's going to work. But, you know, with technology being so advanced and advancing every day, I wouldn't doubt that it's possible. Because people are always doing amazing things with technology to help people every day. So to see this, this is going to be very interesting to see. Um, and I am glad that they actually approved her for that. And do I want any pay out of my design? No. I'm just happy to have helped. You know, like, I really am glad to have helped somebody that really needed it. Because, you know, she's fought through a lot and, you know, has gone through so much that, you know, doing a design for her to have a new prosthetic arm so that she can be that much more normal again, you know, it's the least I can do. Um, also, on a side note, I do have a feature coming up. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch the live stream before this one. You guys will see what I'm talking about. But uh, with that being said, I love you guys, and I'll see y'all later.